welcome to my youtube channel i was planning to the join today in the on today in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own custom arc to your drawing to your 3d drawing or your 2d drawing um so let's just get right into the to the business um i'm going to go to my south because this is my sit out for instance now this is my sit out and if i zoom let me just take it back as, as you can see this is my south elevation so i'm just going to go to my south elevation here and um i should have this then i'm just going to sketch the arc out with line two so when i sketch the line out uh the arc out then i'm just going to move it out and i always make my uh my ha my hack to always make sure the limit is just around this the top side of the door so that's what i do because i don't want the the stuff to be bumping people's head you know if it was to be real because i don't want any situation that way so i'm just going to sketch it out now So when you finish drawing uh, this the, this uh, this um, step kind of stuff, then what you want to do is select this side, okay, and select this side too, okay. Then click on the line, click on the middle, on the middle point. Select this uh, curve edge, and just move it up. I'm going to give my let me say two seven. Okay, just have a kind of a nice look like this. So when I'm done like this, I'm going to go to design. I'll click on morph tool, hold on space bar, and click the edge here. When I click it, it's going to turn white. As you can see, it turns white, and that is the morph. But I'm I'm going to delete this because I want to show you guys just in case you do like you you actually hold on space bar. Everything doesn't give you what you want. What you want to do is you can make sure this line is selected. When you've selected the morph, which this line is selected, this geometry method, poly, polygonal, G, you know, just make sure it's selected. And you sketch out this, uh, the line, just trace out the line. And when you, once you reach this point, select on this arc by three points. Select on it, select this other point here, then drag it up. Then continue, then select on this straight segment and continue tracing out your line. As you can see, it turns white. So I'm going to go to my 3D now and I'm going to move to this side where my section is, where my sorry, where my south elevation is. And I'm going to click on this point, drag it out, and right to 2 5 because that is my wall size. I'll click enter twice, escape, then go to ground floor and look for and look for the morph. This is the morph here. I'm going to select it and I'm going to control D. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it into this place. As you can see, it fits in exactly. So I'm going to go back to my 3D and it should be in where I want it to be. So I can I can change the color. I can change the color of the morph. Let me change to pale. I'm using pale blue. As you can see, it gives you this. And if you want to do this, uh, you want to do the other side, this other side now. Uh, I'm going to go to the west elevation because that's where it is. Okay, it's in the west elevation. And if you don't, if you can't find it, just go to your ground floor. You will see it here. This other, this side here, side you need. Is actually in the west side of the uh, elevation okay so you go to your west elevation and I want to go back to my south elevation because I want to copy the line I used to this line this black line so to copy the line I want to go back to I'm going to go to market to I'm going to draw a box okay and I will click on line 2 I want to hold on con I want to press ctrl a click on the circle to press ctrl a and I'm going to cut it out. 
then i'm going to go back to my south ele uh, west elevation and i'm going to paste i'm going to paste it okay and i'll click outside so what i want to do next now is i'm going to select on this line select on this okay this just this one and i'm going to Ctrl D. I'm going to just move, I'm just going to move it away from that side, and this also. I'm going to yeah, okay, okay. Selected everything I want to. I want it to select. So I'm just going to Ctrl D and move it here too. So I want to I want to mirror it to the opposite. They're, they're going to be at the opposite side, which is I'm just going to hold down Ctrl M on my keyboard here and select here, as you can see. It's mirrored already. Then I'm going to Ctrl D. I'm going to move it to this edge here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing for this too. Click on uh, go to design, click on morph to hold on space bar, go to the edge here and click. As you can see, it's smooth the space outside. So if you go back to your 3D now, it should, look, it should be there. So you can see it's there. So I'm going to click on it, click on this point here, and just make sure you select make sure you select this tube and make sure you drag it out like this. I write 205 because my that's my wall size. And I'll go back to ground floor. And look for it as you can see it's here and i'm going to select it and move it into where i want it to be okay so if i go back to my 3d now i should be seeing it as you can see it's just inside there so i should change i should change i'm going to give it the color i'm using the color i use area on just preview as you can see this is how you do it so this is how you design your sit out and it's your own kind of uh, custom made arc it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use this kind of arc you can use a lot of designs that just come to you that does you know the any ideas you want okay thank you for watching my video if my video has been of any help to you kindly subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my other tutorial videos thank you Falls under